Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs and this video is all about day two at Carmen's Curiosity Shop in Aurora, Colorado. And also at the end of that part, I'm going to show you day four in Colorado. So if you haven't been watching, please go ahead and watch the playlist of our entire road trip. We had so much fun. Here at Carmen's on day two, we went ahead and finished up our cover. We had this brown thick paper and we cut it up so that we could cover our covers. <laughs> and we ended up, I like honestly to rip off the edges. I don't like square straight edges. And so I ripped mine up just to have texture. And then we decoupaged the inside covers so that they could be pretty. Now you can do all kinds of things here. You could stamp it, you could paint it. You can do all kinds of embellishments to make it your own. And I still have to work on mine. So look for future videos on me working on this exact journal. I like to use a straight edge to make sure that I get my paper down really well and I just use that same ruler that we were using to cut our papers. If you're going to be using your brushes, make sure you put them in water. That's just a little pro tip so that you don't ruin your brushes. Next we took a piece of fabric and we cut it out to the exact dimensions and we used Fabri-Tac. I actually have Fabri-Tac on my website it is the most amazing glue it is for fabric but I actually use it for a lot of my paper crafting as well it's silicone based so it doesn't wet your paper and it does a really good job so you want to make sure that you get your edges and this is just something pretty you could use paper it doesn't have to be fabric you could use lace or doilies there's all kinds of ways to cover up and secure your covers You could even take an old pair of jeans. Now, your junk journal or any book is made out of signatures, and those are the papers that are inside. All of the papers that we had previously dyed the day before, we went ahead and we put them in some kind of an order, and we made three signatures or three mini booklets, and then we took an awl and we poked holes through it so that we could sew them in to the cover. And I will show this in more detail on a future video. If you have never junk journaled or don't know anything about creating books and sewing, comment below and let me know. All of our signatures are inside. We have three signatures. And now we're going to start working on the inside. <laughs> I'm going to put all of Carmen's information in the description below, so please be sure to link it. If you're not following her, you, re you really, really want to follow her. She is the queen at paper crafting, and she taught us all kinds of folds and different ways of doing things that you could use uh, just to put inside of your journal. You could you can embellish it you can have a secret message on the inside and have somebody open it up or it could just be for decoration there's so many things that you can do to make your journals really interesting and so this was one really cool way that she made a pinwheel and it was a lot of fun it was confusing but it was a lot of fun to create I can't thank you enough for your support and all your kind words guys thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell you'll want to be notified when I 
upload the next video. It's going to be incredible. It is a paint tutorial. I used DIY paint and I also used posh chalk which is part of Would You Ben's rice paper that I decoupage on the front and just my first experience with it and I'm hooked. I loved it. I can't wait to show it to you. That's coming next week. I really love junk journaling and I owe that to Carmen and I also owe it to Beth from Vintage Bandits. This right here is something that I had never done before and Carmen had us do a master board. It's probably something that you want to do at the beginning of your junk journal process just because it's going to help you to create a theme or just a color scheme. You take random pieces of paper and you decoupage them on any which way that you would like. There's no right or wrong way. We're both doing it and it's both both of our projects are coming out totally different. But this is a great way to just grab some pieces of paper that you have and just play. Don't think about it. Just put it on there and see what you come up with. Then once it's all dried you could go ahead and you create stamps. You can create uh, tags you can create journal spots all kinds of different things to use inside of your junk journal now you could take cardboard from packaging from things that you get in the mail from all sorts of things that you have around your house and think about it in a different way and use them in your junk journal We really got to explore a ton of creativity and try things that we've never tried before. And this is something that I have wanted to try for years. I took these wax melts and I actually took two of one color and one of another and created a custom color and we melted it and we were able to then pour it on my cover and create a seal. I just love this and I plan on buying myself a kit because I see myself using this in many different ways. Isn't that so cool? This is Ariana's and she chose to do hers on the inside to hold one of the papers that she had stamped and created. And I love the way that that turned out. What a neat idea. This particular project was super cool just because it was raised that the, the little folds on the fan folds on the top created a really cool feature and there's all kinds of different ways to fold paper and create tuck spots and journal spots and you can tape off one end and then just have it open on on another or leave it all the way open where you could open it up and journal all in there or hide something that you want to keep and treasure it's really so cool and it adds so much interest to your journal. The learning just continues. We actually learned how to create our own foam stamp. Now this reminded me of something that I did in seventh grade in high school and it was a lot of fun but we definitely did not have enough time to do this but we drew something very very quickly. We transferred it to the foam and then we use this special tool to either take out the drawing or take out everything around it. So that was a lot of fun. You could see everybody working on their projects here and this was probably the quietest because we all had to concentrate on what we were doing.
And guys, that's a wrap at Carmen's. We went out and we just went exploring, found this cute little ice cream store, rolled ice cream, which I'd never tried. I got banana with Nilla wafers and she got Oreo and it was very, very good. We enjoyed it and then we went driving. We were trying to find downtown Aurora and, and now we're in Denver. downtown Denver. We don't know how we made it here, but we made it. A really, really it nice perfect. district, yeah. The weather was amazing the entire time we were in Colorado. We were on our way to the hotel. Oh my God, the moon! In 4.4 miles. And we got to see the eclipse. It was that night and it progressed throughout the night. It was a really, really cool event that we got to see in Colorado. Now, I want to show you the next day. We got the opportunity to extend our stay, and so on Monday, we spent the entire day in Colorado. Look at the view. I mean, the entire city of Denver is absolutely beautiful. From the parkways, they're embellished on the sides. I don't know if you can see. Um, there, it, Everything has been thought of when well-planned. All the buildings and the structures are absolutely breathtaking. We had a great day exploring. Here are just a few of our pictures and highlights. This particular part of town, there is a free bus, that bus. We got on it and Ariana was terrified. We had to get off really quickly and we just walked. I think we ended up walking like 16,000 steps that day or something crazy. We even managed to sneak in a Manny and Petty. We were driving um, on the street. We passed this Deja Blue, and I was like, oh my gosh, we need to go into that. So now we're going to see what they have. It's apparently a Goodwill of Colorado. Let me know in the comments, have you ever seen a Deja Blue? Or have you ever seen a Goodwill this amazing? We really got some really interesting pieces. I got a pair of like a skirt shorts and two shorts. And I got this ring, it's super cute. Also my new nails. And then mom got, so they charge you for a bag here. So it's kind of funny. She got this scarf. I love that scarf. And um, I think it's going to be big, that shirt, but it'll be nice and comfy like and loose. Yeah. Oversized, yeah. And this is from H&M, and these were from Zara. So I think we did pretty good. Let us know in the comments. Have you ever been to a Deja, Deja Blue before? Blue. There was a 